Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today I'm going to quickly discuss why low cholesterol is actually bad for your health. Now the other day I got an email from Josephine and she asked, Dr. Sam, I got off the cholesterol lowering drugs. You know, I felt horrible on them. And I've been using your cholesterol now for six months. My cholesterol levels went from 227 down to 191. This is a good start. Thank you. But how do I get it below 150? Should I increase the dosage? So the problem here is that many people, including doctors, try to lower their cholesterol as much as possible. For example, I have a friend who takes 80 milligrams of Lipitor daily, and that's a cholesterol-lowering statin. His cholesterol is 121, and his doctor is happy with this. However, this is crazy, and it explains why my friend is depressed, has lost muscle, has memory problems, and has no sex drive. Remember, cholesterol is good for you and has many health benefits. In fact, low cholesterol, which I think is anything less than 150, is linked to memory loss and Alzheimer's disease, uh, depression, and increase in suicide rates. Uh, it'll increase your risk for cancer and Parkinson's disease and also lower drive. And I'm talking about just physical, emotional, and also sexual. So here's what you want to do. First of all, you want healthy cholesterol levels, and that's typically anywhere as low as 150, which I think is a little too low, to 220. And I know everyone tries to get it below 200, but it's okay if it's a little bit higher. The ideal range should be around 170 to 190. Then you want optimal HDL, LDL ratios. Now what you should care more about is your good HDL and your bad LDL levels. And these are known as lipoproteins, basically fat combined with proteins. And your goal is to have higher HDL and lower small density LDL particles. Next, you want to lower triglycerides. And simply stated, this is fat in the blood. Now, a little bit of fat is normal for energy, but too much and things start to clog up in your arteries. Next, we want to lower homocysteine levels. And this is an amino acid in your blood, and it's a major risk factor to heart disease. Unfortunately, most doctors, especially in the U.S., still don't even test for this. But you want to make sure that this is lower. And finally, you want healthy liver function. Now, most people don't know it, but almost 80% of your cholesterol is formed in your liver, not from the foods you eat. So you want to make sure that your liver is clean, strong, and healthy, and something that unfortunately gets weaker as we get older. So total cholesterol is just one factor for having healthy lipid levels. And again, you don't want it too low, which is why drugs just make this situation much worse. They're just too powerful and shut down everything. Additionally, the other four factors that I mentioned, when combined with healthy cholesterol levels, dramatically reduces your risk uh, for a heart attack and stroke. And that's the secret, the combination. And this is exactly what I did for my own parents back in 1999. And you get all the details and what we learn and the real cause of high cholesterol and the best and easiest solutions. Um, you can just click the link below in the description area and watch a short video and actually copy the formula and lower your own cholesterol naturally without drugs or crazy diets. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments and questions below. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor and make sure you visit the link in the description area below about the bonus video on how I improved my parents' cholesterol in less than 30 days naturally and how you can copy the same proven formula. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.